if search is done right, it will constantly engage your users to help them discover new and interesting content along the way. One of the advantages of using Algolia to power the browse experience is that you can make sure that there's consistency between the browse and the search page. If I take popular romantic comedies, as you can see here, there's Knocked Up, She's the Man, Love Actually is the top three results. Copy and paste that to the search bar, it has the exact same result. It has Knocked Up, She's the Man, and Love Actually. And this consistency should also persist even if a user mistyped the query or type in a synonym. So let's say if I decide to just put down um, romantic comedies, give it a typo, or change the query to a synonym is still exactly the same. But we're also showing some of the suggested queries at the very top. Originally, I was just going to find something under rom-com, but since there are more options that I wasn't really expecting, I'm going to go ahead and continue my search journey. I'm going to go ahead and click on fantasy romance. And after clicking on fantasy romance, there's actually zombie romance and vampire romance. I wasn't really expecting any of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on zombie romance just because my partner is into some zombie movies. Now, there's this urban dictionary editorial content injected in the search result. So apparently zombie rom-com is a thing, who would have guessed? Another thing that you notice from the screen is that there's this promoted content on Zombieland, which is currently in theaters right now. I'm gonna go ahead and refine the query and type in Zombieland. Now, it's not just restricting the result to just Zombieland. With Algolia's query expansion feature, you can show the other zombie movies as well. So there's this panel on related actors at the very top. And we'll still proactively suggest zombie-related genre or suggested queries to allow users to continue to toggle and drill down to content that they might be interested in. Actually, Emma Stone might have been in similar movies. I'm gonna go ahead and click on her and see which movie she's acted in. And we can dynamically display genre that she's she's acted in before. So I can freely toggle between adventure, comedy, and drama. And there are just a couple of other things I wanna show you. The next time I visit this page, as I scroll down the page, I notice that along with these trending contents, there are two new shelves being added. And that's the Zomromcom shelf, as well as the Emma Stone shelf. With a personalization feature, we generate a user profile, and based on this user profile, we can dynamically add these shelves that best match the user preferences. Now, as I scroll back up a little bit and click on this Avenger movie, you notice that to encourage users to stay longer and discover similar content in the site, you can actually implement the recommendation feature with Algolia. As you can see here with search, there are unlimited possibilities to keep your users interested and engaged with your platform. And that's it. I really enjoy building this app. I hope you enjoyed this video and learn a little bit more about what you can do with Algolia.